How's it guys? Here I am standing on the banks of the Zambezi River in northeastern Zimbabwe and the tree I'm looking at today is this beautiful specimen of the Natal mahogany Trichelia emetica. Guys, I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter and I am here to show you a little bit about uh, some of the better known plants and trees of Africa and today we're going to be focusing on this one very characteristic of the southeastern coastal areas of Africa and also inland. We're quite far from the coast here, probably at least 500 kilometers. On the Zambezi River, we've got uh, elephants over there, there are waterbuck over there, there are zebra standing just behind me. We're in a wildlife area and there are lots and lots of this characteristic tree. It's a mahogany, one of the mahogany family grows, can grow absolutely huge. This one's relatively small one here. Much favored by the wildlife as a browse species. So you often see quite a clear browse line on them. Uh, very, very, very clearly identifiable from their dark green compound leaves. Now this tree has a really interesting use. Uh, it's called Trachelia emetica and the most favored uh, medicinal use is, is the source of the name um, as an emetic. So if you take the bark and you powder it and then you then make it into a tea and drink it, it will indeed make you throw up should you need that uh, after you've consumed something that's not doing so well with you, for example. Uh, but the seeds are also absolutely beautiful. So this tree has a lovely round uh, ball, wooden ball, which opens up, dehisses out into three or four uh, beautiful red seeds, um, quite big, fat, oily seeds. Now these seeds have an oil that is traditionally used in cooking, um, in particularly in Mozambique and northeastern South Africa. A uh, long history of traditional use, boiling up the seeds, the oil rises to the surface and then it's skimmed off and then the oil is used as a cooking oil. But in the 1960s and 1970s, there was a very big industry in Mozambique, which at the time was a Portuguese colony, uh, sending oil that was pressed from these seeds to Portugal for, to be made into soap. And right now, there's a lot of interest in rekindling this industry, especially with the shift away from palm oil. So obviously, palm oil has had a big negative backlash for the environmental impact of it. And the Trachelia emetica has a remarkable seed oil, which can be used as a substitute for palm oil. Sadly, not quite so cheap, um, but much more environmentally sustainable. So that's it. Next time you see an atal mahogany, uh, remember that. Think of the soap. Think of the opportunities. Um, and also just reflect and admire this absolutely beautiful tree. It is really, really, really a stunning tree in this amazing setting. I'm Gus, the African Plant Hunter. If we haven't met before, this is what I do. Share little tidbits about African trees, plants. Uh, you can find plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. I do hope to see you again. And thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.